All right, I'm in Nova Scotia. I've uh, had a horrible night's sleep. Pretty much no sleep at all. Which is what happened last time when I was on the ferry. So I can't say I'm surprised. I don't think I have the energy to go very far. There's jellyfish. I don't know if you can see the jellyfish in there. Moving around. Oh, these houses are just gorgeous. Trees. Nice view. I suspect it's going to be very difficult to find a place to camp around here, so. Hope it clears off soon. It's been a while since I've seen pine cones like this. Now, people thought I was crazy picking up birch bark. This stuff is really good fire. Really good for cooking on. So, now I look really crazy. Stuffing my bags with pine cones. Everybody's watching me as I drive by. Still searching for a place to sleep. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, I think. This is all private property. I would even ask somebody. But really there's no one around to ask. I don't like knocking on doors. I'd prefer it if someone were out and about. And this place is vastly different from Newfoundland. I didn't even realize how different it is. It's just so much greener. It's the grass. That's why this place feels so much different. Everyone's got these massive lawns. Big green lawns. They look so comfortable. I just want to lay in them. This is place called the Monroe Academy. It looks like some sort of uh, Catholic or Christian school. Anyway, I asked a guy uh, that was walking on the side of the road where I should camp and he suggested this place. He said the, the ball fields. There's a baseball field up in the corner there. There is actually a bunch of people playing baseball right now. Free camping at its finest. I'm still playing baseball behind me. I just don't even care anymore. There's so much food. How did this even happen? I got a whole kilogram of oats. I got a whole, almost a kilogram of lentils. Half a kilogram of dried blueberries. I got green lentils, split peas, kia there. I got spices. This. I got a whole thing of oil. Nutella. This is a Half a kilogram of milk powder, tortillas, cheese buns, green pepper, honey. I got cheese and cucumber here. I got two cans of chicken. It's not even all of it. I'm pretty sure I got more food in my other bags too. Tired. I'm just. I'm, I am sleep deprived. Shut up. Ah! So anyway, last night it takes. It doesn't take much. I mean, I. I. To be honest, I do get a little bit uh, spooked in the dark sometimes uh, when there's weird noises going on. Last night there were some weird noises, and it was like a wailing. There's a wailing off in the distance. It's like horrible wail. And uh, I couldn't quite tell what it was. And uh, it was still going in the morning when I got up and it was light out. So it was a little bit less creepy. It sounded to me like a dog.
<laughs> you can hear it wailing away in there, and that's that's what I was listening to in the dark all night. I didn't want to get out of my tent. I didn't know what the fuck it was. Here's a church. There's a church. Here we go. Collecting sticks on the side of the road like a weird ass again. Here to Lewisburg. Ugly day. It's fine. It should be a beautiful tomorrow. Look at this. A payphone. Very good too. Even. This would be a very horribly overgrown baseball field in Lewisburg. So that's about perfect. Like I'm right in town, so couldn't ask for much more than this. I'm out of the wind a little bit so I can have my fire. It's early. I had a short day. So the goal, the goal today is to get into bed and uh, fall asleep before dark so I can get some proper rest. So I'm exhausted. And this boy just needs some sleep. 